Hi guys, it's Amber at the Hop and Vine coming to you from the Hop and Vine kitchen uh, because a lot of the questions we receive are about can I cook for my family of 60 in your kitchen? Is this gonna work for us? And um, yes, it is and it does and we have had groups do all kinds of amazing cooking in here from crab boils to uh, giant breakfasts. Um, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit around the kitchen and then we'll take a look into the common areas as well. So first up, um, we've got kind of, this is the space. Um, it's on the parking lot side of the house here. Um, you got a nice big desk. However, this is great area for all the, the extra groceries. That's what that tends to be used for. And then over here, we've got our double oven uh, with uh, five burners. And there is a little skillet that can go across the top here. On this other side, lots of counters, um, giant microwave, big old sink. Um, this is a dish sanitizer. So um, like in a commercial kitchen or a restaurant, you rinse all the dishes, throw them in there. It's done in two or three minutes. You pull them out, they're piping hot, give them a second to dry and you're done. So it's nice and speedy process if you are choosing to um, use our plates and dinnerware um, that we do have in the space. So you can kind of see we've got some kids plates up top, lots of dinner plates, and a little more over here, along with some extra paper towel. Um, we have lots of coffee mugs. We have um, drinkware over here. And if you ever find you are short on something, there are three other kitchens in the townhome units that you are welcome to pull items from. Um, but for the most part, people find what they need here. Knives, um, we've got two of these coffee crafts for out in the dining room, the coffee, uh, commercial coffee bun maker, <laughs> bun coffee maker. Um, let's see, we've got a second small sink here. And let me turn a little bit. Uh, we keep our, our vacuum back here because you know you're always going to have messes <laughs> and then we got this giant uh, fridge and in addition to the giant commercial fridge there we have um, a residential side-by-side -side fridge here um, in this cupboard we keep a lot of our um, cookware like bowls and oh gosh anything you're going to need to cook it's probably here and if you're not sure give us a give us an email and ask um, we've even got some crock pots for you, stashed behind our curtains. Um, a couple more big ones back here. We try to make it really easy for uh, all of our families and big groups to cook on site. Um, some more bowls and dinnerware there. And I think that about sums it up for the, the kitchen. I'll do another angle from here so you can see. Lots of cooking space. There's that one big fridge and then here's the side by side. All right, and then if we just turn this way, this brings us into the dining room. So obviously very important to have the dining room close to your kitchen. Um, as you're going into the dining room, you will also find our new um, guest laundry room. Um, it is stocked with like um, irons and soap and things like that. Um, so you don't have to bring any of that stuff. And then here we are. This is the main dining room space right off of the kitchen. About 27 chairs fits if you want to properly set up each table um, for something formal. You can obviously fit many more and we have had people put more chairs in here and get cozy. Depends on what kind of uh, vision you've got. But there are options. You can also move tables around. I'll pan back around here so you can kind of see. This is the pool room back here, uh, coffee bar, and then let's go ahead and go through here. This is the small kitchenette. And so this space has a sink. There is a microwave and a full-size fridge and freezer with ice maker just right over here. There's that small microwave. Uh, but what this area is generally used for is uh, like all the snacks and drinks. So you got um, 
if you brought all the goodies, you went to the, oh gosh, one of the, the big box stores and you're like, we're loading up on snacks, this is probably where you're gonna put them. Um, and then you got your, your fridge here too. So beyond this space is a powder room. And if you turn this way, try not to make you dizzy. This is the hallway that leads down to all of the, um, most of the interior guest rooms there. So let's go back and then uh, and see what we've got this way. This is the slightly disorganized at the moment um, sun porch. Okay, so you got sun porch there leading out to the backyard and all of that fun stuff. And then if we come back in, I'll turn you around. We are back into the common space. And so many times if you've got an extra large group, um, our groups will use this dining room, but then also have guests seated in the sun porch. And they'll pop open these windows all the way. And if you can see, it is not a truly connected space, but if you wanted to be kind of together and hear what's going on, you can kind of make them um, that much connected and have guests eat in both spaces. I will just walk around here a little bit. The pool back there, pool towels, piano, and we do have lots and lots of games for you. Gonna head this way. All of our brochures and favorite things to do are here, along with our map. Make sure you pin where you're from and uh, check out where everybody else is from that's visited. And then this brings us to the front door. So this is our front entryway and the living room is up here. There's a set of stairs that goes up to three more rooms and a bonus room with a kitchenette upstairs. And then this is the large living room just comfy for hanging out. This couch pulls out into like a double wide couch. Great for just relaxing or piling the kids on there for to watch a movie. Got lots of puzzles and things in here. Um, and then of course the, the TV and the extra table for you. So that is, that is the common area for you. Uh, if you've got any questions, never hesitate to reach out and ask. And, um, I hope that was helpful. We'll talk to you later. Bye.